It is now time for a question period. The member from Nipissing. Thank you, Speaker. <clears throat> Speaker, I would uh, also uh, open by commenting on the cowardly acts of terrorism in Boston and that our uh, caucus uh, as well uh, offers uh, our heartfelt condolences to the families of those uh, who were sadly affected. Speaker, my question this morning is for the Premier. The Auditor General told us that the cost of Mississauga gas plant is not the $190 million that you've uh, talked about, but rather a whopping $275 million. He also told us of the subtle change in language the Liberals used from saying the total cost to now saying cost uh, to the taxpayer. Uh, speaker, that's because the OPA was instructed to add $85 million on the hydro bill of ratepayers. There's the subtle difference. Wow. Premier, you played with words to get around telling us the true cost of cancelling Mississauga. What's the difference between a taxpayer and a ratepayer? And will you apologize to the Thank people you. of Ontario Thank for you. misleading them? The member will withdraw. Premier. Curran, uh, first of all, on behalf of the people of Ontario, I want to send our thoughts and prayers to our friends in Boston, to the families of those killed and injured, and to everyone affected by this shocking event. You know, um, races like the Boston Marathon really are a demonstration of human endurance and a uh, sense of community. I want the people of Boston to know that we're here for them, that we offer, us, offer them our support in any way that we can. It's just because And I want, to, uh, I want to thank the auditor for his work and accept his findings, Mr. Speaker. The auditor has provided Ontarians with a longer-term assessment uh, than the original assessment by estimating costs and savings over 20 years. And let's be clear, we listened to the residents of Oakville and Mississauga, and we relocated the gas plants. Order. Mr. Speaker, do we agree? Do we agree that the plant shouldn't have Order. been located there? Answer. Yes, we do, Mr. Speaker. Do we agree that the plant should have been relocated sooner? Yes, we do, Mr. Speaker. Do we take responsibility, and are we going to move Thank forward, you. Mr. Speaker? Thank you. Um, stop the clock for a moment, please. Like all of us in this place, I am aware of the uh, situation that is happening today. Um, with uh, responses, and I'm going to ask you to contain yourself as much as possible to get to, to uh, your questions and to the answers. Let's try to keep it uh, at a, a level in which we can all hear, and uh, I will immediately be looking to people to uh, quiet them down. Supplement. Thank you, Speaker. Premier, what was even more revealing from the auditor was the fact that millions of dollars were needed for transmission, gas connection, and other costs made necessary by moving to your new Order. location. That's because, Premier, there's a right way to move these plants and an expensive way, and we learned from the auditor that you picked the most expensive way possible. The auditor told us he will be using the same criteria in telling us how much your Oakville cancellation really cost. Now, you're sticking to $40 million, but the OPA shows those same extra costs the auditor will look at using will bring this to $991 million. Just like yesterday, Premier, we're going to get to the truth. Why don't you just tell us tell us now the total cost of cancelling Oakville? Thank you. Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I just I know that the Minister of Energy is going to want to speak to some of the specifics, Mr. Speaker, but I I want to be clear. Premier. Mr. Speaker, I didn't think that was such a, an outrageous comment. I know the Minister of Energy is going to want to speak to the specifics, but I want, I want to talk about my responsibility and our responsibility, Mr. Speaker, to move forward on this. And it is very clear to me, the Mr. Member Speaker, from I, listened, Kent, come to order. I, I listened to what the Auditor General said yesterday, Mr. Speaker. It's very clear to me that he has made calculations, Member and I am, I am very glad that he has shed some light on this mr speaker that's exactly why that's exactly why we asked him to look at both of the situations mr speaker it's Answer. been my priority to be open and transparent on this issue mr speaker i asked for the auditor general to look at the oakville situation we've expanded the scope of committee mr thank speaker you. The and from I take Prince Hastings, come to order. thank you 
Final supplementary. Thank you, uh, <clears throat> Premier. We learned two things over at the Justice Committee this morning from sworn testimony of Shelley Jameson, former Cabinet Secretary. Now, first, she swore that Cabinet knew of Project Vapor. Now, you and a handful of Cabinet ministers stood up and said you have all the documents. When this proves you knew, we did it. Now, she also swore that Cabinet knew of the extra costs for the Oakville cancellation far above the $40 million you claim. In fact, she called them buckets of costs. Premier, documents prove you were at the Cabinet meetings when these extra costs were disclosed. Will you stand up now, put an end to this charade, and tell all of Ontarians how much did Oakville cost? You see it? Thank you, Premier. Minister of Energy. Mr. Speaker, uh, when the Auditor General was given the responsibility to look into the Mississauga issue, uh, he worked on that file for over half a year. He worked cooperatively with the Ontario Power Authority and uh, officials from his office. He stated very from Wayne's clearly Grenville yesterday, come to order, Speaker, and Prince he stated very clearly yesterday that he had access to all documents. It was not a problem for him to gather the information. So the auditor's office is again looking into the Oakville situation. They have been doing that for some time. They're going to be doing it over another period of months. There are difficult calculations. There are complex files, and. Uh, as in the case uh, of Mississauga, we were not getting interim yes, reports on what the auditor was finding, and in the case of Oakville, we're not going to be getting interim reports. So the speculation on the part of the critic is totally vacuous, Mr. Speaker.